What up, party people? It's your man, Constant. It's Tuesday here on the Whistle Sports, so you know what that means? We got a lot to talk about with the crazy weekend of sports that happened this past weekend. So why wait? Let's get to it. Let's huddle up. Now here on the Whistle, we like to start you off with some things that get the juices flowing in the comment section. So I'm gonna start you off with some of my top performers of this past weekend, followed by some guys that didn't quite cut the mustard. It's my studs and duds. My first stud award is a group award and it goes to the Seattle Seahawks. Shouts out to Pete Carroll for actually having the guts to run a fake field goal. Now most teams, they lose it and they blame it on the special teams, but not in Seattle's case, they won it. Brandon Bostic heads up this week's duds. Look, we know it's not his fault they lost the game, but had you caught the ball, sir, the Packers would have been on the way to the Super Bowl. My next stud is a three pack. That's right, three powerful running backs. Marshawn Lynch, LeGarrette Blunt, and Eddie Lacy. My man Marshawn Lynch was shaking tacklers left and right. Lacy was showing off that spin move, and Blunt smashed the Colts yet again. My next dud, Andrew Luck. Listen, I know you will be playing in a few Super Bowls eventually, but you didn't get it done against Brady this past Sunday. Give me your studs and duds for this week, right here in the comment section below. I want to call out every single Seattle Seahawks fan that left the game early. If you were there with a buddy and they turned to you and they said, hey man, we're not going to the Super Bowl, let's beat traffic. I want you to politely slap him across the face. 20 years from now, you are not going to remember that you beat traffic, but you are going to remember that you missed one of the greatest comebacks ever in sports. Come on, 12th man. Let's round out the huddle with your chance to beat me with your prediction knowledge. I got six games on tap. Your job, pick more of those games correct than me. If you can correctly pick all six games, you're gonna win a prize here from the whistle. You ready? Here we go. Let's start this thing off with some all-star NHL. I'm taking Rick Nash as the MVP. Son is a scoring machine, and I know he's gonna wanna show off in front of his old fans. I got Rick Nash for the MVP. We got a couple of good NBA matchups this week. I'm gonna take the Rockets over the Warriors on Wednesday, and I'm taking the Spurs over the Bulls on Thursday. And in college hoops this weekend, I'm taking Kentucky to remain unbeaten with two more wins over Vanderbilt and South Carolina. Coach Calipari has these guys primed and tuned, and will probably run the table this year. It is FA Cup time in England this weekend, and I'm gonna take the Wanderers to upset the mighty Liverpool. And finally, Winter X Games is upon us. How could I not take someone with the last name Gold to win in Winter X. So I'm gonna take Ariel Gold to win the Snowboard Superpipe event, and I'm gonna take Gus Kinsworthy to win the Ski Slope Style event. I admit it, I got a soft spot for Gus. He saved puppies in the Olympics. I'm gonna leave you guys with this little segment called Buzzer Beater. This is my own little zen moment. Peyton Manning may retire, guys. He's getting a whole, basically a whole new team. The Broncos may not be as good next year as they were this year, so this may be the time for Peyton to bow out. Will Peyton Manning retire? Will he be back? Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think. And hit us up on our social properties because here at The Whistle Sports, we are talking sports 24-7, son. I'm out of here.